welcome to another exciting edition of Stevie Mac and Ike TV. Today's show is about police brutality. We have on the show today a, a young man, Willie Lumpkins, also known to his friends as Willie Lump Lump. You've always wondered, who is Willie Lump Lump? Well, today you get to meet him on our show. We have defending the local police department, Sergeant Billy Clubber. We also have our panel of special pundits, uh, Montel Jackson, the Reverend Al Sharpton, Big Mike, and more. Stay tuned for that right here, right now on Stevie Mac at Night. Police brutality is a serious issue and excessive force is a serious issue and all across the nation people are crying out against it and so on today's show here we have you uh, our guest Willie Lumpkins also known to your friends as Willie Lump Lump so tell us what happened on the night in question well you know I was standing on the corner that night and uh, I was about to jaywalk all of a sudden all of a sudden uh, all hell broke loose. Um, I got hit off across the head a couple of times. Uh, <clears throat> had a foot in my ass. I don't know where that came from. Wrestled down and uh, beat up real bad. But, uh, you know, that's what happens when you <laughs> almost jaywalk. <laughs> what can I say? So, Willie, um, how does your family and friends take this? I mean, you, you look pretty bad to me. What's going on with your family and friends? No, no, well, you know, my family, they don't, they don't like my position on it, but uh, it's the family. They don't like my position on much nothing anyway. Uh, I don't like their position on nothing. Uh, you know, this is me. This is how I feel, uh, that the police got to do their job, and, I mean, you know, they did a job on me, as you can see, and uh, I don't think it was a crime uh, to do what they did to me. Because I was about to commit a crime. Who knows what that could have led to? That could have led me down a road of your repute. And I could be a terrible person if they hadn't done what they done. In fact, I thank the police for what they did to me. They did for me. They did for me, yeah. I mean, I got to get my two fixed. But, uh, and, and this fix. Of course, this fix. My ribs. But they really did me a service. They helped me out. Young man, I say this from the bottom of my heart, and I mean this. You delusional. You think the police meant you some good when they did what they did? You must be suffering from a brain tumor or a concussion by the look of that knot on your head. I can see what you're thinking through that knot. Ain't no way the police did you no good, son. Now take it from me. They was wrong for doing that. It's two left shoes. Your family is right. Listen to what your family is telling you. They're not uh, telling you wrong because you got some misconceptions about this whole thing. He knows I was doing what I was supposed to do. I'm just doing my job. I am to serve and protect. And if I can't serve and protect with extreme prejudice and force, I may as well not even be out there standing in the line. I'm standing in line. I'm standing in line. Uh, Sergeant Billy Clubber, welcome to the show. And uh, we beg to uh, question um, how police tactics are handled. I mean, how are you trained to handle people who are mere jaywalking or attempted jaywalking suspects? Well, I want to say thank you for having me on the show. And uh, when it comes to the activities that occurred on that particular night, the night in question, the suspect was in violation of attempted jaywalking. Let me get this straight. You got a 911 call for someone suspected of attempted jaywalking? Yes, I did indeed receive a 911 call about a suspect about to jaywalk. We went to the situation and handled it the way it's supposed to be handled by the police department. Well, we have our political pundits on the show, uh, the Reverend Al Sharpton, Montel Jackson, and Big Mike. Uh, Reverend Al Sharpton, uh, what do you make of all this? I don't know what kind of training y'all doing at that police department, but everything you doing is down the road of ill repute, and ain't no comeback from there. 
You, sir, are a nuisance to society, and you need to lose your badge and all them little old uh, awards you got that don't mean nothing. Don't mean a hell of a bean. I could buy them at the 99 cent store. Put them on my lapel and run around talking about I did this, I did <laughs> that, and who shot John, and who shot John? You shot John. That's who. Yeah, we don't need no police like you in the community. You need to be, you need to lose your job, lose your pension, because you definitely done lost your mind. We've got Montel Jackson. What say you? Well, you know, uh, listening to that young man talk there, he was clearly in the wrong, and mm -hmm. I'd just like to say uh, thank God for police officers like that who are immediately on the case policing our communities, and what do you know? That's the kind of cop I like to have in my neighborhood. And now our political analyst, Big Mike, weigh in on this issue. Well, the officer is wrong, basically, because this is a very politically charged situation. See, when that young man was not read his Miranda rights, they violated his constitutional rights. And this is very, very, very political. I'm talking uh, Penal Code Section C, Subsection D, Dash 5 political. This goes all the way to the Supreme Court. Uh, so, yeah, I think that uh, the police was wrong, the young man was wrong. Right, but he's wrong in terms of uh, not wanting to press a lawsuit. You've got uh, a really good, hot political lawsuit going here and can cause some real damage with the uh, local police department. I've seen a lot of cases where someone just kept on uh, abusing the officer by hitting him in the billy club with his face. Those are rare cases, but they happen. This is ridiculous. I mean, this young man's rights have been violated. Uh, they have violated his due process of law. Uh, how can you beat somebody up like that uh, just for attempted jaywalking? I've never heard of anything like this. Attempted jaywalking, it's like beating somebody up and arresting them for what they're thinking. Attempt at jaywalking? cannot be a crime because before you bum rush somebody and beat them over the head with a flashlight, you got to have probable cause. There was no probable cause. His foot wasn't even in the street yet. He hadn't put his foot in the street. You got to put your foot, that just wouldn't be astute. This wouldn't be astute. Let me just get it out here like this. Well, people got to realize that attempt is a crime. Man, I mean, come on, attempted murder. Tempted burglary, tempted rape, tempted larceny, tempted jaywalking. It's a crime. Crime is a crime. What do you know? You know, Officer uh, Clubber, you're the kind of guy who uh, deserves a pat on the back. I mean, you're out there doing a darn good job policing the community, and sometimes you got to spare the rod, just spoil the child. I mean, you're doing what you got to do, and you're the kind of guy who I'd like to treat to a cup of coffee someday. And, sir, I'd take you up on that cup of coffee, too. <laughs> you know, there needs to be more law-abiding citizens like yourself. The world would be a much better place. Thank you for tuning in to another exciting edition of Stevie Magonite TV. Be sure and check out also Stevie Magonite Radio at blogtalkradio.com slash comedian Stevie Mac. We'd like to thank today's panelists, Big Mike, Montel Jackson, and of course, the Reverend Al Sharpton. Our guests on today's show, Sergeant Billy Clubber of the local police department, and of course, Willie Lumpkins, also known to his friends as Willie Lump Lump. You want to check out our show next week when we talk about the hoo-ha surrounding airport screen technique. We're going to have head of security here from TSA, and we're going to have some scientists on to refute that, and we also have a guest on our show who's suing the airline and the TSA for the screening process, and you'll see why. Ha <laughs> you want to tune in for that? And remember, like I always say at the end of the show, the world is watching.